Okay, I want you to listen to this exchange between Senator Rick Scott from Florida, U.S. Senator Rick Scott from Florida, and uh, Marine General Michael Langley. Michael Langley is the first four-star Black general responsible for the entire continent of Africa. Listen. Why we have why we we care about what's happening in Africa right now? I mean, what if you tell the American taxpayer what? Why are we there? Why are we spending the money we're spending there? Thanks for the question, uh, Senator, uh, for access and influence. I say that a number of countries are at the tipping point of actually being captured by the Russian Federation as they are uh, uh, spreading some of their false narratives across uh, Libya. And from a strategic answer piece, access and influence across the whole Maghreb, that is NATO's southern flank. We need to be able to have, maintain access and influence across the uh, Maghreb from Morocco all the way to Libya. Ch uh, excuse me, the PRC and Russia are also remaining exploitative uh, where possible and coercive when necessary. They want that ground. They want power projection capabilities. So for the most part, uh, the rest of the continent uh, is also for mining concessions, whether it be gold or rare earth minerals. Both of them have a long-range plan, but I think at the accelerated uh, pace, the uh, Russian Federation is really trying to take over uh, Central Africa as well as the Sahel. Can you talk about... You've heard what General Michael Langley said. This is not about caring for Africa or helping Africa develop or doing anything for Africa at all. This is about superpower fighting for influence. The Chinese, the Russian, the American, they couldn't give two craps about Africa. They don't care. They don't give a shit. They don't care about Africa. The issue is that Africa can live by itself and the continent can exist by itself without anybody else. But no one in the world can exist without Africa because Africa have all the resources, all the minerals, everything that they need. So the superpower are going to fight about it. Now you heard Michael Langley. He is the first... African-American uh, Marine general, four-star Marine general. And you heard what he said. He said, look, the Russians are gonna do what they need to do to get the resources. The PRC, the People Republic of China, they're going to do the same thing. Now, I have to give props to Niger, Mali, and Burkina Faso. Now, those three countries have decided to turn the corner. What they've done, what they have done is simply amazing. They have kicked out the French. They have kicked out the American. I mean, Niger just kicked out the American last week. The, the uh, general of, of the Nigerian army just made a, an announcement that, hey, we don't want the Americans here. Go back, go back to your house. Now, that is nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. The problem is that the West has this theory that they could do whatever they want to do with Africa and no one is going to be able to say anything. Now, I we have to look at uh, Burkina Faso, for example, the president of Burkina Faso, the youngest uh, African president, in fact, the youngest president in the world, he's done a tremendous job for the people, for the people of Burkina Faso. He kicked out the French, stopped them from stealing uranium, and he's doing the right thing for his people. Now, those are the kind of leadership that we should support, that the West should support. There's no reason why the West can't work with Africa, but it has to be based on respect. It cannot be based on exploitation. It cannot be based on colonialism. It has to be based, you want something from me, you pay me for it, I sell it to you. Now, Africa can work well with the United States. Africa can work well with any country. Now, what I would say to all the African leaders, you cannot trust that the Russian or the Chinese or the Indians or the Turks somehow they're going to help you. They're not going to help you. It's got to be business. You pay me for X, you pay me for, for Y, and that's, got, that's what it has to be. We can't hope that somehow these people is going to come and they're going to, to, to have our best interests at heart. They're not going to do that. And the faster we understand that, the better we are. But proud for Niger for kicking the Americans out. The Niger need to chart their own course. They need to do their own thing. It's time that we allow Africa and its people to decide where they want to go instead of trying to meddle in their affairs all the time, instead of trying to prop some uh, some dictator, uh, you know, uh, subservient to the West. We don't need that because, hey, 
that doesn't happen in the West. People get elected, they serve for a specific time, and they move on. So we should allow Africa to do whatever works for Africa. Follow the professor for more.